Hello, uh, this video is being made uh, so that uh, people who are building this uh, easy BITX kit I can come to know that there are some minor mods which are required so that your transceiver performs optimum. Okay, so we'll start. Uh, we don't have uh, many changes, only a few mods which you need to do so that your transceiver works perfectly. Okay, the first mod we'll let you know is if you go to this LCD position in the audio chain, a diode is required that is IN4148. You need to cut the track and center and shoulder this IN4148. Uh, the cause for using this is because in transmit uh, there is some signal that is entering into the audio chain and causing some issue with the transmit. So we need to install this diode for some optimum results. Uh, we would further elaborate why this is being used maybe in our article so you get the exact view why we are using this diode. Uh, now we come to the second mod. The second mod requires us to use a diode IN4007 with a 10 nanofarad capacitor or 100 nanofarad capacitor across the relay the 12 volts which is going towards the transceiver so you could see it in this video I have given you how basically you need to connect it I have shown you the video so you can try to locate it this way or we would be putting up an article also uh, to make it much more clear we will put a link later on uh, to the article also so uh, basically uh, what we had done in the original uh, build up uh, we had put the IN4148 across the 12 volts from the supply but we were supposed to put this IN41 sorry not IN4148 IN4007 we were supposed to put it uh, across the 12 volts uh, going to the transceiver so it was done in the opposite so do we do have one uh, 4007 across the power supply uh, entering the uh, transceiver but we do require it uh, to the line that is going to the transceiver across the relay so this is a, a must because it may cause some problems during transmit or some parasitic oscillations or you can get some other issues so this uh, diode and capacitor is a must so this is the second mod the third mod we require is to use 220 pf across the drain to ground so here is it from drain to ground this is also very important to stop any parasitic oscillation or imbalance in the amplifier so you would require this uh, the fifth mod that is required is to use a 10 ohm resistor after C64. This is also very important otherwise there may be some issues in biasing the IRF. So we need this to stop any parasitic oscillations. So uh, do remember to install a 10 ohm resistor after C64. In case you are using an SMD uh, PCB in that case you need to uh, cut the track uh, going to the RF and insert the 10 ohm resistor uh, in between I hope you get it so uh, these are the modifications uh, which are required and uh, what we have done now uh, we have got a PCB made uh, that uh, you could use for the bandpass filter instead of the IF cores which some people do find it uh, not easy to make so uh, these uh, filters are made uh, with uh, the data uh, supplied by um, QRP labs so uh, which will uh, include the link uh, from where to get that document so uh, you could now make your bandpass filters 
uh, with uh, using these uh, toroids they do give a better performance uh, like uh, uh, you could get a better output rf output and the receiving i think so uh, would be better and uh, overall uh, much more simple to build uh, than with the if uh, cores supplied earlier on so i think so this makes it much more easier now to build the easy bitx since people were uh, having issues uh, uh, trying to wind the tor uh, uh, trying to wind this if core uh, which was not very pleasant uh, experience for many but i think so this is a very simple method and uh, you should have no issue at all uh, in winding uh, turns for this uh, toroid cores so here i'm using um, uh, for 40 meters uh, t37-6 and two trimmers and with the required capacitors uh, you could use uh, SMT capacitors or uh, NPO type uh, capacitors uh, which are easily available. Out here I have used, uh, though the pads are for through hole but I have used SMT since I did not have uh, the exact NPO capacitors for through hole. So this is performing perfectly and I would recommend anyone having issue to go along uh, with this build. Uh, in the center you see you can mount a PCB to isolate the uh, low pass filter from the band pass filter. So you could cut a small strip of PCB and uh, use it out here. So this will create a shield between both the circuits. So that's it I think so there is not much more. Uh, just let me tell you a few more things. that. Uh, we are using BAT 54S diode out here. You could also use IN4148, but with IN4148, you need to see that those diodes are matched. Otherwise, you may not get a perfect uh, mixer and there may be some carrier leakage. So, you would, uh, so the options are either you use the BAT diode or you use 4148 according to your uh, requirement. So what else do we have here? Seems not much now. Most of the things I've already covered. And uh, just let me let me let me show you uh, one more thing. Uh, one minute. So we turn this PCB. So yeah, this uh, volume control. There are two pads. So you can use the one towards. Uh, the edge one so uh, this would be better use the one that's on the edge uh, so uh, with this uh, the shaft will come out from the, the face plate that we are using uh, so we have kept two pads uh, just for the sake of uh, the, the pots that we are using maybe the shaft is long or short so you can adjust accordingly that which holes you require to mount so we use this, uh, we use the ones that are towards this face plate. So uh, uh, this is about this. So people were having some confusions as why are there two holes, two set of holes for the volume control. And uh, when you mount this uh, connector, uh, when you mount this connector, uh, Berg strip, uh, you don't need to shoulder all the pins it's not required you just shoulder the ones that are required see i have not shouldered all so just shoulder the ones that are required uh, otherwise it may create a mess in shouldering if it is not if your shouldering is not up to the mark uh, then it may create some mess so it's better to only shoulder the ones which are required but you need to see that the ones that are required and don't miss those Otherwise, uh, maybe you're not getting the ground or some connection is not connected. So you need to sh be sure that whatever the connections are, those are required ones are shouldered. So that's it. I think so. It's uh, very clear now that uh, uh, what uh, are the requirements for the mod and the basic things uh, that you may be uh, puzzled about. So here is the bad diode. And here. 
this is body mixer okay this is for the product detector sorry and the ones for the mixer are mounted on the top so yeah these are for the mixers which are mounted on the top and the one i showed you earlier for the product detector those are mounted on the rear side uh, back side of the pcb so that's it i think so i've covered most of the things and maybe i'll let you know how to do the biasing and um, how to later on tune this what people are facing is issue with uh, adjusting the bfo uh, this video is uh, going to show you how much power uh, we are getting out from the easy bitx so we have the easy bitx on 7 megahertz uh, we have an swr power meter and we have a uh, 200 watts dummy load so we'll check how much power we are deriving from EZBITX. So here I go on transmit. Hello test. Hello test. Hello test. Hello. Hello test. Hello. So you see we are um, in 5 watt range in forward position and in power. So we are getting an output of 5 watts. Hello. Hello. So this uh, easy BITX uh, is uh, putting an output of 5 watts so I hope uh, you all enjoyed uh, this video and uh, I think so I will also add this uh, receiving uh, video that I have uh, shot along with this uh, video so you can see both the transmitting and uh, receiving of uh, this EZBITX transceiver. So thank you for watching and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Uh, this is another EZBITX uh, that I built. So both of them are the same. So now let us see how this is performing. Both are on the same frequency set. In this one I am using a face plate. In the other one uh, I did not uh, use a face plate. So basically to give you a better view. So let's see how much power it is giving. Hello. Hello. Test, test. Hello. Hello. So overall it is giving 4 watts. 4 watts of power. So you can see the scale set on 5 watts power and forward. So we are getting an output of 4 watts on this set. Uh, the other one was giving 5 watts so maybe I need to adjust the low pass filters a bit better with correct inductance I have to check recheck so to derive the most power what can come out but uh, overall quite good performance is quite good so I would suggest uh, anyone who is uh, learning a mature radio trying to build an SSB transceiver uh, then you could try to build the easy BITX you could build this set for uh, any band you like uh, it is not restricted to any particular band uh, we have provided the coil data for uh, the bands uh, like 80 meters 40 meters 20 meters uh, and the upper bands so uh, basically you can build it for any band but we provide the kits for if you want we can provide the coils for 80, 40 and 20 uh, for other bands if you require we have to see uh, we have to arrange the coils and uh, the capacitors etc 
uh, to meet your uh, needs uh, but on higher bands this mosfet irf 530 is not going to work so we need to change that transistor to some other uh, proper rf transistor where you can uh, get a proper output on uh, the higher bands so i suggest that uh, this uh, could be built for uh, 7 7 megahertz and uh, 14 megahertz 80 meter band also 3.5 megahertz uh, it's your choice if you want to build for 10 meters 21 so you can do that uh, you can build it for any band so, so you just need to uh, change um, the final transistor and coils for band pass filter and low pass filter accordingly uh, but this set is uh, uh, can work from right from 3.5 to 30 megahertz so you can build it for any band and enjoy uh, enjoy building it and uh, cherish the moments that you build your own ssb transceiver so thank you thank you a lot for watching all the best